Hi, my name is Mr. Chavez. I'm the visual arts teacher at Coal Elementary and want to thank you for joining me for today's visual arts lesson. First off, I want to let you know that I am in my makeshift recording studio, which is really just the kitchen at my house. Um, if you hear some noises coming about you, it's my dog Paisley. Here is what she looks like. So I want to start off by saying that first, I miss all of the students and staff at Coe Elementary. I hope you all are doing very well and I hope I get to see you very soon. But I wanted to welcome everybody else to this lesson. Um, we kind of started it in my classes right before we had left. Um, this is a visual arts skill. We are going to be focusing on the elements of shape and line. And we'll be focusing primarily on creating details into our works of art. It is very important that as artists, we are adding as many details as we possibly can. The more details that we add, the more interesting that we make our drawings. Now details can be anything from adding like texture lines to adding color to uh, shading. Um, all sorts of different kinds of stuff. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our imagination to have you create a castle. Some of the students previously had done that by adding things that they were interested in. So if they really liked dragons, they would be incorporating that into the theme of their castle. Some students even took um, things that they like. One student liked dogs, and so he incorporated dogs into his castle, or other students incorporated candy, all sorts of different kinds of themes that you can do. So for this part of the lesson, we're gonna get started. All you're going to need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Like I said before, you can use a um, straight edge, like a ruler or something. I don't have a ruler. So something that you can use is like you can use a box like this one to get straight lines. Or even if you wanted to, you can use like a piece of paper and, and put that on top. It's so like if I wanted a straight line under this one. To use that piece of paper to just lightly go on top of that and create a straight line, okay? But um, first I wanted to talk to you about like the shapes and lines that we were going to be using for this project. When we are building a castle, um, we use kind of these basic shapes. First one is the arch. This can be used for windows um, throughout your castle. We could also use squares. Um, obviously they don't need to be perfect, but squares are for like the buildings. They could also be used for windows. Um, another thing, another shape that can be used Another shape that could be used is the rectangle. They could also be used for um, building structures, um, towers. They can also be used for uh, windows, triangles, or even cones too. Can be used for the tops of our peaks. Triangles or um, cones could also be used for the tops of our um, castle towers. They could also be turned sideways and used for flags. Some lines that we are going to be using are the castle line. They can be used for the tops of castles. We can also use thin lines. 
thick lines. You get the thin lines by um, pressing very lightly, thick lines by pressing a little bit harder on our pencil. And these kinds of variations also gives us um, interesting details for our castles. We're going to be starting off and the first thing that I want to do when if I start off with my castle is I kind of start off with the base. So I create a square or a rectangle base. And so from here, I may want to put in the entryway for my castle maybe a tower on the side. Or another tower on the other side over here. Here we can also add our triangles on the top. Okay. Maybe you start to add That little bit of castle line at the top. Okay. This is kind of like the basic castle. That we have putting in windows. Maybe you want to make this. A little bit down. The reason that I started this lesson is because students wanted to end their drawings like right here. They say, Mr. Chavez, I made my castle, I'm done. When this is really just the basic, right? You can look at this and say, oh, that's the beginnings of a castle, but it's not an actual castle, right? Castles are big, they're ornate, they are um, made of multiple different levels. And so here, you can start to push yourself further to create other things on it. One thing that helps us is also overlapping. So we have this shape right here, and then we can overlap these other little towers right here. And so we can build on that and overlap more and more shapes. So maybe there's another tower back behind this. And I can tell that it's behind because this front tower is blocking the tower behind it, right? We don't see all of that tower shape. So I may come across and maybe I'm making this one this way. Okay. Maybe right here, there's another big tower. You know, right here, it's going to have the castle line again. Okay. But maybe I want to make smaller windows. Mm -hmm. Maybe here is another big arch shape over here. Maybe I want to add another big tower behind that. And then over here. Another big tower. Now I want you to take the time to practice and add uh, more details onto your castle and see how far you can get. While you are doing that, I'm going to continue working with my castle.
So as I continue to draw my castle, um, you can see that I'm adding different um, towers. I'm kind of building off. You can see that I'm kind of building off one another. Also, I talked to you about how you can use like straight edges to get those straight lines. I'm not worried about that. I'm not um, trying to get the straightest lines as I possibly can. But what I am doing is I am drawing lightly first. And then once I have that image, uh, that place that I like it, then I kind of draw a little bit darker. So I draw this light line and then once I have the placement, then I come back with a darker line on top of that, right? So I draw a light line. Once I like it where it's at, I come back with a darker line. And so in this one, I would say that even this would be pretty basic, right? I have these buildings built up one on top of the other, but still there's no real details other than like the windows and maybe the arches. Oh, over here. I like to have like a little bridge that connects the two places. That's a good detail that I like. Okay, now we can go in and start to add a lot more details. Like where is this at? Is this situated on the ground? Is it in the clouds? Is it in a forest? Is, does it have a moat? Those kinds of things. So come back on it. And to start to add those details about where your castle is. I like the idea of having a moat. A moat is like a river or kind of like a little body of water that surrounds the castle so that people cannot get through unless the drawbridge is down. And so in my case, the drawbridge will be down, but this is like the little moat area. You can add like little water lines. Some of my students asked me, hey, Mr. Chavez, can I have an alligator in my moat? Yeah, go ahead, put an alligator in there. Maybe you want fish in there. Maybe you want all, sides, all kinds of little creatures. Those are little details that you can add. Here's my little fish dude. Mm, alligator, you're gonna see the eyes and the nose. Alligators kind of keep, crocodiles keep their bodies below the water where you can only just see the tops of them. So that's my alligator. In the sky too, maybe you want to have a dragon kind of flying by. Mm. Mine's going to be a nice dragon. It doesn't breathe fire. It just flies around. But I like the spikes on its tail. And its belly and hind legs. Okay, so you can see that I've started to add the details in it. And I want you to go ahead and work and create more details of your own.
Continue to work and add as many details as possible to your castles. Once you're done, take the time to color it in and then show it off. Show it to your mom or your dad, your brothers or sisters or cousins or even your dog. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you very soon.